Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening DX. Okay, so previously we did this dungeon, and now we will be going to the next one. And the owl is back. Hoot, how many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the wind fish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot hoot. Okay then. So. Before we do that. I am going. Well, there's a bunch that you can do before you go there. So. Let's go up this way. Wait. No, that goes to the mountains. Okay, so I tried to do this previously, but I ended up failing epically at it. So I'm gonna rest I restarted this video. Um, I went up to the mountains first because I thought that's what you were supposed to do. Because it said under a waterfall, and the mountains have waterfalls in them. But it turns out that's not what you have to do. You actually have to go in here. Now that I think of it. You go in here and take a nice good old nap. Sleepy sleepy sleepy. Yeah, and then there's this this place. Basically, put on your running shoes or Pegasus shoes. And run ow. I forgot sword. There we go. And they give off a heart. But they get, the damage they do is three hearts, which is a lot of damage. If you don't have a whole bunch of heart pieces. Which I don't. Or heart containers. Because I haven't been collecting heart pieces. And there we go. Oh, what a weird object. There must be some way to tackle this obstacle. Yep. But, let's go up here first. And you got 100 rupees. Sweet. Now about 500 rupees. Anyway, let's go up here. What's in this chest? You've got the ocarina. Yes, it's in this game too. Like in many of the other older uh, Zelda games, it's here. So, now we can go and, give me a moment, learn a couple songs by talking to her, first of all. Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have. Will you accompany me as I sing? Let's listen to it. Sounds beautiful. <laughs> so, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yeah. You've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. So, yeah. That is the first song that you can learn of an ocarina. Okay. So, with that in mind, we can still do a couple more things. Dum 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 da dum 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 da da dum. Like, first of all, we can. Uh, wait, crap! Where am I going? I'm supposed to be doing something with a stupid stick, and it involves going back to where I already came from. Wow! Fail. I think it's somewhere up here. Oh crap, I already checked here. 
I do believe this only leads right here. Yeah, that goes up to the mountains. I don't want to go there yet. Well, where the heck is it? Well, here's a little patch. Let's check it. Oh, okay, so a little mini dungeon here. I actually went ahead and looked online for a couple of the uh, things, and apparently there's a very secret thing just above of, from where I'm at that most people don't find because who would randomly place bombs on a wall? That's why this only gives you 50 rubies. And you, you're left thinking, why was it so protected? Well... Look at that. There's a heart piece. Which should be my fourth. So I got a whole new uh, container. Now you have a complete heart container. That makes three, six, seven. Sweet. Aww. That was my last bomb. Suck. Oh well. Um. Crap, I gotta go this way. And I got attacked. Loser. And go through here. Got smacked again. Whoa, that was close. Okay, and here it is. Basically, talk to him. Oh, Dehelm, I see you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? Sure. And now he's smacking a beehive. Come on, get me away from this. What are you, an idiot? Look at him. He's being chased by bees. And that falls to the ground, so let's grab it. Haha, -ha, you're not getting this today. Stick became the honeycomb. You're not sure how it happened, but take it. Okay, then. So now we got a honeycomb, which comes in use later. Not right now, though. And crap. Only I had a bomb again. I'll go to town and grab one. They're at the store, aren't they? I hope they are. It would suck if there's pieces of grass that turn out to uh, have bombs in them. And then I'm just wasting my time and rupees. But oh well. Okay, here we are at the shop. And bombs. Whoa. I didn't know there was a bow in this game. It's got... It's worth 900 rupees, though. I don't know if I could do that. Ten bombs. Bye. Thanks a lot and come again. Okay. So, now with the bombs, we can go past that skull. Okay, continuing. Ow, ow. Well, crap. There's another crack in the wall up here. So before I blow up that, let's check in here. And it's a fairy. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. And yeah, she replenishes your health. Oh yeah! And now let's go deal with this skull. Boom! And over here. Well, I guess it's just a shortcut. You could go around, I guess. Lame. Okay, where else to go? Okay, so this just keeps going. Um, so I think the next place you need to go 
is the beach. Because that would most likely lead to a desert, right? So let's head that way. Ah, oh, crap. Bug guy. And two more bug guys. Ah! There's a lot of them around here. And this is a warp point. We can get one at the place we're going to. It's past the beach, though. It's quite a distance from the beach. So, let's head that way. Dun, 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 dun. Weirdly enough, whenever I hear this music, I'm reminded of Pokemon. I don't know why. Whoa, bad. Bow wow. Alright. So, let's head on to the beach. And I missed a rupee. If I'm gonna get that bow, then I'm epically failing because I'm skipping out on a bunch of rupees. Keep going this way. And there's a monkey. Hey. Ah, he's throwing crap at us. Never mind. And there's a chest. With 50 rupees. Very nice. Yes, indeed. 600 rupees out of apparently 900 to get a bow. What's in here? No one's home. But that was a nice chest back, back there. Okay, so it appears that we have another long jump. There we go. So previously we couldn't come back here, I guess. Let's check out. There's some type of mermaid looking thing over there. And there's a sea, secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Sadly, that's like four. Okay. So, let's keep going. Up this way. No, leave me alone, you bombing little freak. And apparently there's a cave here. Let's go in it. Caves. Die, monsters. Whoa, that was a bit weird. It's a hermit crab looking thing. Let's go on through here. And through this way. I think. Either way, I'm going, so... Crap. I went the wrong way. Maybe it's up this way. Animal Village. Yep. Here we go. Whoa. Secret path. And I think you need your running shoes to go through here. Apparently not. And go on here. And down. If I'm correct, the village should be right here. All you really have to do is go to the bottom, right in here, and here's a bear. Hi-ho! Hey you, is that possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? Sure, why not? You exchanged honeycomb for a pineapple. It's not as sweet, but it is delicious. Hi-ho! Yeah, I know that tub of goo is asleep right in the way to Yarna Desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with the, her song. That slob would wake up with just with a jump if he heard her sing, for sure. <laughs> okay, so apparently we have a sluggish type seal blocking our path to the desert. So, here's another waypoint. Let's use it. Whoa, jump high in the air. Apparently we have to get Marin for it. Let's move this. Ah. Have sword equipped at all times. And she's gone. Marin, she likes to go stare at the ocean all by herself. Why? Hey, I'm just a kid. Don't ask me. Weirdo. 
You're a weirdo, kid. Why do they always say that? Oh, I'm just a kid, so don't ask me. I understand. Whoa! How do you get back over here? Where are you from, brother? Outside the island? What is outside? I've never thought about it. Yep, he's just another weirdo kid. Let's go ahead and head for the beach, I guess. And rupees, yay. And power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. And now we gotta find Marin. And apparently she's not here. But. Oh, it says Marin's up. Oh, never mind. That was songs that I know. Okay. And apparently there's nothing in here. Oh. Well, there's gotta be something in here. Otherwise, this is just a waste of a cave. Come on. That's just lame. What the heck? That sucks. Waste of bombs. Those were good bombs, too. And this way? Oh, there's Marin. Let's talk to her. Oh, d -Hell. I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? Sure, why not? Oh, and an epic scene. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Taryn says there is nothing beyond the sea, but I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Dihel, my heart skipped a beat. I thought this person had come to give us a message. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wished to the windfish. I wonder if my dream will come true. Hey, are you listening? DM, are you listening to me? Yeah. I want to know everything about you. Or, uh, ha ha ha. Huh? The walrus wants me to go to him. It doesn't matter. I'll go with you to him. Oh, uh, you got Marin. Is this your big chance? What? Well, we got Marin following us, apparently. So, let's go ahead and get to that portal again. Which does not involve going this way. Gosh, Marin, you're always getting in the way. What's wrong with you? Following people. Still no rupees. Wow. Going, 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 and gone. Still being followed. Yep, found Marin, creepy kid. So, let's keep going. Back to this walrus. Why am I cutting grass? Okay, and now we go to the waypoint, which is right here. And shoot up, and she follows us. So now that we are at Animal Village, again, let's go all the way around to talk to that walrus. 
Over here. And there he is. Yes, it's that lazy walrus. So we give him a little surprise. Yes. Okay, she's singing again. Okay, he's dancing or something. And he fell asleep and fell. That's nice. Ah ha ha. Wow. He certainly woke up with a start. Huh? Oh, he's calling me. Isn't that the same as always? Ha ha. Damn, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? Okay then. So now we can get into the desert. Let's go on. There's a whole bunch of items that you can get, but I'm not getting until later. Like apparently there's a tunic that will give you half damage, but I'm not getting it yet. And here's a mini boss to get the key for this place. Yeah, he looks familiar from uh, some of the Zelda games, I think. I'm pretty sure he's a boss from Link to the Past. Of course, I haven't done a Let's Play on that yet. Or a walkthrough. I beat it, though. It's my cousin. But yeah, all you have to do is basically avoid him and smack him in the head. And apparently try and avoid the middle. And now he's dead. Come on. And I got the key. Angler key. And we apparently fall in this hole. Alright. So, I guess we just move on. Smacking enemies. Let's talk to this. Sea bears foam, sea bears dream. Both. And then the same way. Crash. Okay, then. And go around here. Basically, now that we have the tail key, or angler key, we can do some stuff. Who? The shape of the key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Go now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top and you will reach your goal. Alright. So now we have to go to the mountains. Where I previously tried to go and ended up failing. What's up this way? There's a cave. Let's try and go in. Okay. Nothing weird here. Let's jump over here. And apparently I can't go over that way yet, so... We'll just leave here again. That was short. I wonder if you can go behind these buildings. Nope. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to use the waypoint real quick to go ahead and head back to town. And here's Baron. Oh, Dehelm. I often come to this village to sing, too. It seems just about everyone loves my Ballad of the Windfish. Dehelm, what is your favorite song? Well, I'm not going to answer you, because I found rupees. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this waypoint. Because using it is a quicker way to get to the mountains. No, I do not wish to use Ocarina. And go through here. And there's zombies. 
Yeah, the area we need to go to is right through here. Cemetery. Yeah, it's the cemetery. But, like I said, there's a special dungeon or something somewhere around here. I think it's in this area right here. And, apparently, there's a special method of moving these that will give you a dungeon to do. I think was that one. Ah. Uh. Crap, gotta kill these ghosts. Give me a moment. And then move this. And this. And this. And then this. See? And then there's a dungeon here. And... Crap. Now that I'm here, I might as well do it. Um, I will do it in the next video, though. So see you next time, and... Let's play Link's Awakening. DX.